My name is Erin Bradley. I am a Gauteng Department of Education teacher at Brian Evan Primary School. Brian Evan Primary School is a school in Johannesburg, South Africa, and we've been using Purple Mash for about a year and a half. We are quite proud of the idea that we are one of the schools that has been promoting coding, and we're trying to start at a very early age. This particular lesson is for grade ones, and it is just after the June holidays. Good morning, grade one D. I would like to show you how to save your work today. We all need to save our work so that we don't lose it. And it's very, very important that you know your username and your password to be able to do this. To be able to save your work, you need a username and password. And you should be familiar with that. And many of you are already quite familiar with it. We are going to make a puzzle as we did before. And then I'll show you how to save it. Now you can see here we're already in the home screen and the home screen is where you would start off with a quick login although it wouldn't say Mr. Bradley it would say guest and that means we are starting off with quick login. Now we need to save our work if we do some beautiful work so let's show you how to do that. Now when you get a little older that little red button that I'm showing you now that's where we would be placing work for you to do and it's very important that you would be saving your work so that I can look at it and see it and you can also keep it for yourself so that little button is going to be very important I'd ask you all to go over this with your parents so that you understand how to do it because we need to get practice a bit so that we can do it very very well and that means practicing at home you only see me for half an hour a week now I'm going to be scrolling with that little wheel on my mouse and as you can see as I turn the wheel the screen moves down and we're going to be looking for the to do it yourself section with the caterpillar and the rocket and the number two on it there it is the number two right in the middle the black circle with the two in it click on it and you can see we've done all of these activities we did a card game we did that rocket activity if I remember correctly and we did a puzzle so all of these is where we've been in grade one we've been working on those activities now I'm gonna go back to this puzzle we we're going to look at a puzzle we're gonna construct it so we're gonna launch app it's opening up and there we go to the beginning and you can see I've got a whole lot of different puzzles that I can make and there they are can you see that some of these icons stand out when I click on them? You can see that one's orange, yellow, and they all, this one's red and it really stands out. Look at the blue on that one. They all stand out to show which one you have chosen. And at the bottom you'll see a smiley face button, which we can't see on our screen. And there you can see I've got a blank puzzle. And we can choose any one of these Kogi pens, and we can even choose pictures over there and we can choose which picture we want to add to our puzzle we, we have a number of pictures we can color in you can see that's why they're that color they're black and white we go over there we've got photographs there's a whole lot of beautiful photographs and there's this little girl so we'll use her as an example for our first puzzle get a little yellow I'm gonna draw a whole lot of yellow dots and we're gonna make flowers that surround her so we're gonna have these yellow dots and we're going to add some flowers to the background now you can see that my screen is not really as it should be the red button on the top right hand side you can't see it at the moment so I need to change my screen a bit but I will have to do that so we're gonna basically do this puzzle we've covered the puzzle we're drawing all these beautiful flowers in and we now want to get to the point of saving it so I've clicked on the red button and now I go to save and exit and you can see it opens up in your work folder now that's where all your work is kept and you're going to have to type in a name you're going to have to type in a name over there of what you want to call your puzzle your picture your artwork or whatever you are doing in purple mesh and that will save your work so that you can use it and open it up and carry on working with it later on you can keep your work you won't lose it and you can save any of your work so all of these activities that we did this term or actually last term 
you find would all not be lost. They would be kept and used by over and over again. Now when you start Purple Mash, you're going to be in guest mode. That means you use the quick login that I have set up for you and you go in there and you are just using guest mode. So now you want to save your work, so just watch how I do it again because you must do the very same thing that I'm showing you. Open your puzzle and you're going to work on it. I've got a blank screen. I'm just going to click on the little smiley face button which you can't see because my screen is needing to be adjusted. I'm going to choose a coloring in picture, black and white. It's an aeroplane and we're going to use this picture I'm going to save it. So I clicked on the red button on the top right hand side. Save and exit that blue over there, that little button, the blue. And look, it's giving all the classes. Now we are grade 1D. So we're going to look for 1D and I'm just going to act as if I'm one of you. So you look for your class. There we go. There's grade 1D. And here's all the names of the children in our class. So I'm going to choose one of the names and you'll see this little panel opens up with all these animals and you've got to know your password and I'm going to just do two one which means elephant and dog and if you press on the smiley face this would open or save per that bit of work. So it's very important that you know which two animals or which two numbers make up your password. Do get mom and dad to help you with this because it's very important that you do know. You've got to know which animals and which numbers make up your password. So go over this with mom and dad and make sure that you know how to do that. And many of the bits of work that you've done would be saved. I know that you've done beautiful work and unfortunately it's all got lost because we didn't use our passwords. Now that's our aim for this term, to be able to take a piece of work construct a piece of work and save it. A big thank you to all of you for listening so well in the course of this lesson. It's been marvelous to see you after a three-week holiday. I think it was about three and a half weeks and I hope you have a wonderful term, the third term now, and we're going to be able to do lots of exciting and interesting things using Purple Mash once again.